based on the electricity that's traveling through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe to say the roof of this building just might blow off. Yeah, all signs point to this match being one for the ages. We're in for a good one tonight. But regardless, this is just another in a long line of awesome WWE sports entertainment. What an impact to the midsection. Hard to see what Rusev is thinking right now. As we know, here in the WWE, a manager is commonplace. And in that tradition, he seems to have taken a liking to someone's services. It's going to take a lot to beat him tonight, Michael. From what I've been told, he's been spending extra hours in the gym in anticipation of getting in the ring with this guy. Yeah, he wants to send a message in this one. And that message is, I'm here to stay. Mighty Rusev looking a bit surprised by this assault. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. I tell you, we knew this was going to be a close affair, but I don't think we expected it to be this tight. What a match. It's a good point, John. And I'd say this match is about as even as it could get at this point. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. Check that out. We have a first here this evening. That was awesome. Wow, that was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He's starting to feel it here. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Come on, you and I both know that a little adversity isn't going to end this guy's night. In fact, it might make him stronger. Great point, John. And he doesn't seem too phased at this point. Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one. You're right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. He's taking some offense. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. This guy's fine. Don't worry about it. Well said, John. And now's the time for one of these guys to take hold of this match. Oh, man. Targeting the ribs and the lower back. That just takes all of the power out of him. Rusev is known as the Bulgarian Brute. His strength is superhuman, like a supervillain. But it doesn't end there. He knows his opponent is completely helpless to resist the submission hold. And he escapes the hold. Just wants that insult to injury. Yeah, this guy's a mean streak. Using all his power to drive him to the mat. He's looking a little weary here. Looks to me like he's starting to feel the pressure, guys. Well, I'd say the problem is that he went to his finisher way too early. Oh, he missed. Oh, -ho, nobody home that time. And he's toast. And he targets the arm. I don't want to know what that feels like. Yeah, well, I've felt it before, and you're right, you don't want to know. Tossed out like a rag doll. He dropped. Oh my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Folks, it was in this city of Houston, Texas, that Stone Cold Steve Austin did the unthinkable when he aligned himself with Mr. McMahon at WrestleMania 17. We got a cover. The more punishment he takes, the slower and slower he is getting back to his feet. Not today, too fast. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. What a counter that was. He's starting to look beaten, guys. And I'm not sure he even knows where he is. You know, I think he was called on. He's going for the pin. This could be it. I think he's got him. You don't see that 
that move every day. Nicely done. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. But I don't think that's the case here. I don't think so either. Very, very painful hold here. What's he going to do? 